this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you, oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Oh, wow. Oh. He might get a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, right in the mouth. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, 
Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And he's out. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. So the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Real quick leg kick. Yet again, they will clinch here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more. And oh! Just over three minutes now to go in round two. than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, that'll ring your bell, head kick. Slips the punch. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Solid strike on the ground. Back mount now. 30 seconds to go in the round. 
I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Third round underway. Pretty good right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish the Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, lands. Oh! News oh, hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Close guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Nicely done. Under three minutes remain in round three. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Fighter trying to pass here. Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's a tech arm bar now. He might get a finish here. And he's out. Back to the feet now. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Lands with a right hand. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Final seconds of round three. Three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round.
got him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, Johnson. He's got to press him. He's got to take that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Choi's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, full guard here. If you're the top fighter, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to pass the back position. Get the half guard so I can get my ground clock on. Joy gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts. So he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura here. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Right in the side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. When the opponent turns to the opposite side, he can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? That was beautiful. I don't know how he survived that knockdown. You're gonna go out there, and you're gonna knock him down again and close the game. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Left-right combo is good. Visibly limping here. All right, single collar tie now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Stuff to take down, no problem. Single collar tie now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Slip low! He hurt him. Back to the feet. Oh! He's out! Unbelievable! What a fight! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So 
just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, he laid out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop to this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And Gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, you did exactly that. Congratulations.